The Mekong, running through Vietnam, is the final downstream segment of the 4,800 km river. The Mekong River is the 12th longest, and in terms of water volume, the 8th ranked river in the world. After over 300 years of reclamation, the Mekong River in Vietnamese territory is now the habitat of nearly 20 million people of different ethnic groups with dissimilar cultures. The young history of ethnic groups living in the Mekong Delta is a continuation of the age-old history of the Vietnamese people, as immortalized in poems composed by Huynh Vang Nhe, a poet, warrior, and a son of the southern land. Since taking the sword up to expand the fatherland, the south misses Tang Long land. The south is characterized by immense fields, water, alluvial soils, and abundant sources of fish and shrimp offered by the Mekong River, which is considered as a source of mother's milk by the Vietnamese people. When flowing into Vietnam territory, the Mekong divides into two branches, called Tien Giang and Ho Giang. Before the Tien and Ho River run into the East Sea, the river again divides into nine branches, which flow to nine estuaries. This is why the Mekong in Vietnam is called the Ku Long River, meaning nine dragons. Because of the division into branches, the current flow of the Mekong is slower and more mild. As a result, when the south was settled and cultivated, the Vietnamese people did not need to build a similar system of dikes like that in the Red River Delta, but were able to live within the Mekong tributaries in a sustainable and harmonious manner. The giant source of mother's milk has dictated the seasons of the Mekong Delta for millions of years. Every year, when the flood season comes, it brings with it 150 million tons of alluvial soil, which fertilizes the already fertile fields and expands the Khao Mo Peninsula. It is this process that has created the largest plain in the region, with an area of 4 million hectares, of which agricultural soil accounts for 2.5 million hectares, or 35.5% of total area of agricultural land in Vietnam. The Mekong Delta plays a key role, supplying more than 50% of the total rice production of the country. And as a result, Vietnam is one of the leading rice exporting countries of the world. In addition, the Mekong Delta is one of the largest undisturbed natural plain ecosystems in the world. With the alluvial deposits, the Mekong Delta is characterized by a dense interlaced system of river tributaries and canals coming off from the two mother rivers, Tien and Ho, which reach every corner of the delta. To this day, waterborne transportation still carries more than 65% of commodities shipped in the region. The floating river markets are one unique characteristic of the Mekong Delta. When the Mekong Delta was reclaimed and settled, planning the use of the rivers, canals and ditches was crucial. In the Delta, every house faces towards a river. The river ports are prime factors when deciding where to site a market or even a city. Adaptations to the Delta environment include houses on stilts along the river banks and floating villages in upstream areas such as Chou Dop, Tan Chou, Hong Nu, when river catfish, Pangasius or Charbasa, found its way onto the world market, these floating villages underwent strong economic development, becoming well off, turning the river area into a high value aquaculture zone. Over 40% of the Mekong Delta area floods annually. The local people do not use the word flood season, but talk of the water rising season or fish coming season. 
More than 1,200 species of fish have been identified in the Lower Mekong Basin, many of which are high value. There are also very large species such as the Mekong giant catfish and preferred species like giant freshwater prawns. The living habits of most aquatic species rely on the currents of the Mekong. In a process of continuous migration, they move upstream towards the spawning areas as they mature and enter the reproductive season. Then the seed produced follow the flood water to return to riverside wetlands to find feed and to grow. Locals who live in flooded areas are knowledgeable of the life cycles of each aquatic species. They know exactly when and where to fish. Mr. So is one such person whose family has lived and fished for many generations on the river and waters in Dong Tap province. Each year the flood cycle in the Mekong Delta begins in late June and finishes in late December. The flood prone areas include Dong Tap Moi, including the whole Dong Tap province and part of Tianzang and Long An province. The Long Suyen Quadrangle in Anzang province, part of Ha Tien Depression in Tianzang province and the downstream provinces located on the banks of Tien and Ho rivers. Peak flooding follows lunar tidal cycles. Besides investing heavily in floating cage farming, most locals make full use of the floodwaters for small-scale aquaculture. They raise pond embankments and or use netting to surround water in fields, shallow river areas or canals, and stock seed of freshwater giant prawn, snakehead fish and climbing perch, which they feed and later harvest. Together with water and seed resources, the floodwaters supply abundant natural feed sources, such as weed fish, small crabs, snails and plants, which the Delta people use and process into aquatic feeds. Thus, the flood season is seen as a season of massive quantities of fish, a wide species diversity and distinctive quality. The annual Mekong flood is an important supply of protein for communities living in the Mekong Delta. In the past, locals in flooded areas caught fish for their subsistence needs, using fishing tools and gear like hooks and lines, fish traps, nets and fence traps, made themselves. Step by step, as fishing became more commercialized, the demand for fishing gear increased. Since the flood season occurs during the off-peak period for agricultural activities, specialized handicraftsmen and villagers evolved which produce fishing gear. As the work is light, the elderly and women can make fishing gear, and so the flood season means households have more income. The capture fisheries in the flooded region of the Mekong River Basin within Vietnamese territory is characterized by small and family scale fishing using manual methods. This characteristic means that the Mekong flood season has positive socio-economic impacts because it brings extra income and improved living standards for millions of farming households. <laughs>